you know, on LinkedIn, if LinkedIn is probably the best business tool. You don't sell on LinkedIn. You build relationships, which come back to where you started this. Your company is going to be built and retained on building those relationships. And that's networking. A lot of that networking has to come in person, but a lot of that networking is introduced by a relationship that you meet on LinkedIn. And then y'all get together, have a conversation, or you get into a group with it. And then you get to meet people of like minded. You have to go out and, and be involved. You can't sit in your office 40 hours a week and think people are going to come to you. Now you can communicate with people, but ultimately you have to build that relationship. It, it comes down to what, what this whole podcast is about introducing new people to new people. So if they can say, is there something that's worthwhile to me? Do I want to connect with that person? How do I want to deal with that? Well, that's why when we do podcasts, we turn back around and put it out to all 20,000 members of Season Network. I put it on LinkedIn. And you know, I, it's one of those give, give, give to get. I'm not asking for their business. I'm trying to see if there's something I can share with them to help them. That builds relationships. I guess... Networking, a lot of the time I see people refer to it as something that people either naturally have or don't have. And I, my two cents on this is I'd like to disagree with that. As I think it's something that you can learn to do and do well as long as you come to it from the right frame. And it, I, I was naturally quite shy, quite introverted. I'm a bit of a tech geek. I don't naturally engage in talking to people a lot. I have a small social circle, believe it or not, at home. Yeah. And over the last five, six years, I've learned to network. I've learned how to build relationships. I already knew how to build relationships. I've learned how to do them at scale. I've learned how to do them faster. I've learned how to, but all of that was driven, as right. you said, through adding value and giving, not, no expectations, no, no demands from my side of things. So I think if you're one of those business owners that are out there saying, ah, that's great if you're a networker, but I'm not a networker, so I'm just going to carry on doing what I'm doing. You need to call bullshit on your own strategy because you can do it. You just don't want to do it. You don't believe in it enough to give it a try. Paul, it's been a fantastic episode. I've loved having you on the show, and I realize we could probably go on for, um, we'll have to have you back. I need to have you back on the show uh, in a few months' time because we've got so much more ground to cover. Well, I appreciate it. Totally appreciate it. Thanks for connecting. And uh, just like this connection, people reach out to Paul. He, uh, he has good information. He has good connections. This is a relationship factor here. Thank you very much, Paul. And if people want to reach out to you, how, how is the best way to contact you? The company is called C Suite Support. And our website is C-Suite-Support. My email is P. Whitley, my first initial last name, P W H I T E L E Y at C dash sweet support. Google the name, it'll come up. Uh, thanks to our marketing director, we'll come up pretty high in the rankings. So uh, if there's something you need, something you want, you want to help your business get better, throw it, or you just want to ask a question about how to do that. Uh, like I say, probably 25% of my time is working with people that I've just been introduced to by somebody that has question, need, or desire. Awesome. I love it. And I will add those links into the show notes as well. So people don't have to go looking for them. So scroll down, have a look at the description. It'll be there for you. Don't worry. Um, thanks for your time, Paul.